Chicos, how is everybody doing today? I hope you're smiling like I am. I am very happy to see you once again through video and to learn English one more time, all right? It is so important and I know we need to learn to just practice and not be shy. Be in your room by yourself and talk to the mirror. Look at your lips and how you are saying these words. Those things are gonna help you. And when I see you again, I'm gonna ask you all of these questions. Like, hmm, tell me what I'm wearing, or tell me what you are wearing, tell me what she is wearing, or how are you feeling today? That's our question today. How are you feeling? Are you feeling tired? Are you feeling sleepy? Are you feeling super excited? Are you feeling anxious? Um, what is it that you are feeling? I'm gonna ask you those too, okay? So remember, practice, practice always makes perfect. So how are you feeling today? I am feeling well, okay? I am feeling pretty good today or I'm doing just fine. Or what uh, most people say today, which is there's nothing wrong with it, I am doing okay. And it's okay to be okay. Okay, don't forget that. Si no se sienten super bien, está bien de decir que solamente están okay. Porque sometimes, that happens, all right? So we're going back again and repeating and reviewing all these lessons that we've been talking about with this and that. That is my car, my little car over there, over there, there, okay? Is singular, singular, no se olvide. Are, plural, am, I am. You're only gonna use am when it comes to I, yo. Yo soy, I am, okay? Is, he is, she is, it is, okay? For you, for the word you, you can use them in singular and in plural. You are my friend. Or you are um, their friend. You can use them for both, okay? It goes for singular or plural, but for you, it will always be R. All right? Remember, this is, that is, those are, these are, okay? So, a lot of the times with my brother, my brother, I would say, that's my food. Don't touch it. That's my food, okay? Or, those are your pants. Pick them up, all right? Or, um, we would talk about those things. Um, or, let's say, that is your um, chore. Clean up the bathroom. So, a lot of the times we would do that. So, those are your things. These are my things, okay? Over there, you over there, those things. Me over here, these are, okay? Don't forget. So we're pointing, okay? This here, that over there, okay? Then we talked about possessive, like yours and your, um, hers, her, um, his, all right, so we talked about those pronouns as well that show possession, significan posesión, que es mío, que es de él, que es de ella, okay? Don't forget those two. But in page um, 59, in lesson 1C, what we're gonna talk about, it's a little bit of describing. They're asking you questions. Maybe you need to fill out your name. What is your name? Then you need to fill out your last name. El apellido, tu nombre, first name, and apellido, last name, okay? Sometimes you might have 
two names. Sometimes you may have two last names. You can write them all. Another thing that they might ask you, okay, is about your mother's and your father's name. Again, you see the apostrophe S for possession. What is their name, okay? So my mother's name is Maria. My father's name is Rommel. So if I were to write it down, that's my mother's name and that's my father's name. Another word that you might be able to see in your book is the date of birth. In your book, it has the date and time, okay? El tiempo de nacer. Birth quiere decir nacer. And date quiere decir la fecha. So, if you are at the doctor or if you are at a hospital, they will ask you, they don't say, what is your birthday? They don't say that. No te preguntan el cumpleaños. La forma de preguntar el cumpleaños is, what is your date of birth? That's another question, date of birth. So my date of birth is January 7th, 1986, okay? If you figure it out, you can tell me what my age is. <laughs> so I'll let that for homework too. Again, January 7th, 1986. So if you're paying attention, I'm gonna write that later so that you can figure it out and then you can tell me the answer. That would be really fun to find out what you come up with, okay? So date of birth, what is your, again, using the possessive, what is your date of birth? So understanding those questions and listening clearly and closely will help you to have the right answer. So don't forget those things, date of birth or the time, okay? I don't know the time. My mom didn't tell me. But maybe you know the time, maybe in the morning, maybe in the afternoon, maybe at night. I don't know. Sometimes you might have that information. That would be very, very helpful, okay? So again, in your picture that you see on page 59, they are gonna ask you those things about date of birth, the father's name, mother's name, and we're continuing to use these things. In the dialogue in your book, they're also gonna have um, the word twins because there's twins, son gemelos or mellizos. In English, se utilizan la palabra twins. I, Hay una palabra más que significa cual de ellas, but in general, you would use the word twins, okay? So that would be something um, for you to just keep that in mind, but it would tell you about describing, describe, um, what are you bringing? Where are the clothes? Again, continuing to talk about the clothes. What do you need? Do you need the pajamas? Do you need the shirt? Do you need the socks? Do you need the shoes? What is it? Okay. Or I'm not feeling well. I need my pajamas so I can go to sleep. Or how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. I'm going for a run. I need my running shoes right? Or I'm feeling like relaxing. Let me get a book to read. Depending on how you are feeling, you are going to do things like running, swimming, maybe you need your bathing suit. ¿Se acuerdan de la palabra bathing suit? Traje de baño. Or if you want to relax, you want to wear pajamas to relax. Um, Ropa para dormir, or if you want to feel energized and you want to go running, you will be going running for your um, health and wellness week. So get ready for that. So that would be something to wear your running shoes, okay? That will be very, very helpful. So again, don't forget, is singular, are plural, am, you will always write it with the word I, okay, and it's 
one person. This is, that is, those are, these are. And don't forget the possessive, it has the apostrophe. Hay dos formas de el apostrophe, el apostrofe. Una es para posesión y la otra es para abreviación. So don't forget and don't confuse the two. This is possessive, belongs. The name belongs to the mother. The name belongs to the father. Another thing that you don't want to forget is your date of birth. Another way to tell your birthday. So I want you to tell me what is your birthday. Write it down and tell me in English. The month, the date, and the year. I want all three of them. Okay, I told you mine. My date of birth. I want to know your date of birth. Okay, and you can tell me. Write it down. I want to hear you say it. Practice. Ask your friend, what is your date of birth? What is her date of birth? What is his date of birth? I'm going to write all of these things down and I want to put them on a paper so that you can write them and then you can say them out loud and practice using the month, the numbers for the date and the year. That would be really cool to hear. I am so excited and I can't wait. Remember, practice makes perfect.